see another program where we'll use uh, the we'll use the LED and try to understand that how it works. Now in this particular program, uh, as you can see here, the, everything is same. The trigger pin is nine, the echo pin is 10, the LED pin is seven, right? Uh, LED pin we have made as an output. Now I want that LED should glow. So the LED pin I, I, I have just added, which is seven, nine and 10 is the same. LED I have added, which is seven number pin, I am making as an output. Trigger pin as the output, as you know, eco pin is the is taken as an input. Now this particular part is the same as the previous one. The formula and everything is same. Now here we have the uh, code or we have the logic. The logic is if the distance is less than or equal to 10, then this LED will glow or LED will be high. And if the distance is more than 10, the LED will be low. So we'll give the voltage to this LED pin once the distance is less than or equal to 10. And if the distance from the object is greater than 10, then we'll make it as low. Okay. So that is the logic that we have added rest of the thing is the same let's verify it or compile it so i'm compiling it compilation done it says that there is no issue with the uh, with this particular program now let's do the uh, connection okay let's do the connection now for connecting you can see that the pin number 9 and 10 connection has been done we have to do we have to just connect the led now come to this in this breadboard we have we put this particular led okay you can see if you are from the electronic background you know that there is anode and cathode there is two pin anode pin and cathode pin the length of the anode pin is more than the cathode pin so in the anode pin we'll put the positive and in the uh, cathode pin we'll put the negative means we have this larger pin will will give the uh, Power supply here will make it to ground. Okay, so I'll just put the LED into the board. So I'm putting in this way. So this is this this is my uh, high and this is my low. I'll use the jumpers. So low I am taking and I'm putting into the ground. So just beside that I have the ground or you can apply the ground from, you can take the ground from here also. We have taken one ground here. And then this particular anode we can take and we can put into seven. So which is seven, this one is seven seven number pin so as you can see we have kept the pin based on the requirement yes seven nine and ten so all the pin has been done all the connection has been done now let's run this uh, program and upload into the Just upload into the uh, Arduino, you know, board. So I'm uploading it. Before uploading it, just go to the tools. 
and choose the USB and then upload. It will take time in uploading. Once the upload, upload will be done, you can see the serial monitor and you can see the reading is coming here. Uh, now let's see how this uh, LED works. So if you can see here, I'm applying some obstacle. So right now the distance is, you can see the distances are there. Now I'll use this obstacle. See, just in 10 centimeter, you can find there is some variation sometime it is 10 sometimes it is 11 so once you do 10 and less than 10 the led is on so as you can see led is on and right now if you are more than that led is off you can see the triggering will be done very easily so you can do many many short of programming here and you can use this particular thing for different type of triggering or different type of uh, alarm right you can increase or decrease the uh, a distance based on your requirement if you require that the 15 centimeter uh, whenever we got the obstacle in 15 centimeter i have to stop so this is how it is happening